What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to our tips, tricks, and guide video. In this video, we are going to show you tips and tricks for Carmilla. If you have watched our boot camp for Carmilla, you will be seeing exactly the same contents for this tips, tricks, and guide video. This tips, tricks, and guide video is for those who are intimidated on watching long videos. But if you guys are interested on watching the complete guide, just search for Toym Traveler Boot Camp Carmilla on the search bar. Anyway, let's proceed. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the damage and the health regenerated higher. That means, you can sustain further in team fights. Prioritize second skill less since your first skill is what you need to last longer in team fights. Always upgrade his ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Carmilla's passive skill is what you need to receive less damage. With the ability to steal the physical and magic defense of your enemies, this will definitely make you stronger while making them weaker. This passive skill lets you focus more on support and mage items, since this skill will already make you durable somehow. Don't forget the indicator above her head that indicates how many stacks you have. It can stack up to 5 times, so having a full red bat wing means you have 5 stacks. Your first skill can easily let you achieve full stacks. Carmilla's first skill is what you need to sustain in team fights. With the ability to regenerate your health while hitting the enemies, being inside the team fight will definitely heal you more. Just imagine that you are inside the team fight and all of them are hit with your crimson flowers. That's a massive series of health regeneration. The only thing about this skill is you need to be beside them. It's so fun watching someone in agony beside you. Send them stickers right after they kiss the ground for a good job of making you happy. Although minions regenerate health for you less, it's still advisable to regenerate your health in a minion wave. Also, jungle monsters, turtle, and lord regenerate full percentage to you, so better utilize this to let you achieve nirvana. Carmilla's second skill is what you need to chase enemies or escape death. With the movement speed buff, this works like you are on sprint spell. Just imagine when you are dying and you need to escape fast. The skill will not only boost your speed, but it can also stun the enemy chasing you. Stunning the enemy will let you escape in peace. Again, take note that the charging of bloodbath energy is indicated by the flower below. Once the flower blooms, then that's why you know that it has reached maximum bloodbath energy. The more bloodbath energy, the more the damage and the stun duration. Just make sure that you use this skill again if you think you have charged it enough. You don't want to be like us that it used the skill again too soon, which made an enemy run away alive. <laughs> Carmilla's ultimate skill is what you need to amplify your team's damage during team fights. With the ability to cursor link up to three enemies in terms of damage and crowd control, the cursed enemies will definitely feel the wrath of your team's damage. Just imagine that three of the enemies are cursed. Just hitting one of them will hurt the other two. Or even crowd control one and the two will experience the same. If the cursed enemy move away from the other cursed heroes for a certain distance, the link will be broken. So if you are against Carmilla, you better move away from other cursed heroes so the link will break. You can also use this skill to massively reduce the enemy's movement speed. The negative thing about her ultimate skill is it can miss the target. It's not a homing skill. So make sure to aim properly. We did some little experiments with this skill. Let's focus first on our little experiments without our lab rats. You might be wondering, what if you or your ally deal true damage to a cursed enemy? Will the other cursed to receive true damage as well? Well, let's try it. I bought Calamity Reaper so I could deal true damage to the target. Okay, let's use my ultimate and let's deal the true damage to one of them. As you can see, the true damage was also received by the other two cursed enemies. So basically, the damage type for the other cursed heroes will depend on the type of attack dealt initially. Just imagine if heroes that could burst true damage like Carrie will be attacking a cursed target. Enemies would just definitely wish they weren't born. 
How about extra additional damage like Demon Hunter's Sword and Feather of Heaven? As you can see, the additional damage are also dealt. This effect is really perfect especially if you are in combo with Bidang that has Demon Hunter Sword. Or Claude's ultimate skill with a Demon Hunter Sword plus a Golden Staff item. Now, as you might be also asking, are the damage received by the other two Kirst heroes will spell Vamp Region to Carmilla? Let's try using our first skill on one of the cursed heroes. As you can see, the regeneration from the first skill and from the concentrated energy item are shown separately. As the cursed heroes receive link damage, it also gives Carmilla some magical life steal from the link damage. Therefore, having items with magic life steal of spell vamp will definitely keep you alive. Even against multiple enemies. How about the damage coming from external source like turrets or allies? Because we have few human friends, we only have our friendly damage bots with us. Let's try to link them while the turret is attacking one of them. As you can see, Carmilla only got help from the initial damage of her ultimate skill. But for the linked damage done by the turret, it didn't grant us help. Now, let's have our guest lab rats first. Because Carmilla's ultimate skill is quite intricate to demonstrate. We need some aid from our guest lab rats. First, we tried if Kajal will be able to pull all targets affected by Carmilla's ultimate skill. As you can see, the other pierced hero was held by Kajal's ultimate skill, but was not pulled towards Kajal's direction. Meaning, the effect of the immobilization or stun is the one that only kicked in. Next, we tried it on Minotaur's ultimate skill. Take a look on how tremendous the damage of his ultimate has become. The knockup count might still be the same. But the damage is definitely something you should worry about. Next, we now have Hanabi. We all know that Hanabi's first skill bounces its damage towards nearby enemies. Take a look on how massive her damage becomes with Carmilla's ultimate skill. As you can see, even if Rakuten is only level 6 and has not farmed well yet, the damage output Rakuten deals is extraordinary. Next, we have Franco. We tried if Franco's hook will also pull the other cursed enemies. As you can see, the initial target was the only one pulled, but the other two experienced a stun effect. Now, how about Franco's ultimate skill? Will it grip on just the main target, or to every cursed hero? As you can see, all cursed heroes are being held by Franco. So in short, with Carmilla's ultimate skill, it's like you are making Franco's ultimate skill an area of effect. Amazing, right? Lastly, we have Kufra. We tried if the other cursed targets will also experience knockup from Kufra's first skill. As you can see, the other two cursed enemies were also knocked up. Therefore, Carmilla's ultimate is best when your teammates has either burst damage or area of effect crowd control skills. In terms of her combo, we usually follow a simple combo for Carmilla. First, we use our second skill to dive in quickly and to start charging for bloodbath energy. It's up to you when you should release the second skill again. It will depend on the situation if there is an instant need to stun a target. Then, we either use our first or ultimate skill depending on the situation. But on this situation, we used ultimate skill first since our teammates needs it at this moment. Then, we use our first skill while being beside the enemy. This way, you can regenerate health while hurting them. It will be a love and hate relationship from now on. Then, deal basic attacks and use skills as soon as they are available. You can use your spells whenever you think it is suitable. Here is another combo we follow when trying to gank an enemy hero alone. First, 
we use our second skill to boost our movement speed towards him. Then, we use our first skill to deal damage while being beside the enemy. Then, we use our second skill again to stun the enemy. It's up to you if you are going to use your second skill as soon as possible, or wait for it to charge longer. Then, we use our ultimate skill to further slow down the target. Then, just slap the hell out of the enemy. Use your skills whenever available. You have slain an enemy. Additional tip. Always remember your role. If you are choosing to be a full support ganker, then don't be overconfident diving in team fights alone. I know that Carmilla is a hero with high sustainability, but being overconfident could reverse your situation. So it's better to have some backup to make sure you both can get the most out of your ultimate skill. You don't want to be like Roddick who is so foolish on diving in recklessly. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Carmilla. This video just guides you on how to use Carmilla the Kurumi way. We would like to thank our guest lab rats this bootcamp. Because this is the 69th bootcamp. We made sure that not just one, not two, but lots of lab rats had fun on this bootcamp. You can search for them in-game or on their social media accounts, and follow their adventures in the land of Dawn and in reality. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Carmilla. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, visit the community tab for giveaway event posts. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please, only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers. Victory!